hello everyone welcome back to another video on crack concepts and in today's video we will be solving another sql lead code so lead code number 1193 monthly transactions one it is of the category medium and let's begin with solving this question so write a sql query to find for each month and country the number of transactions and their total amount the number of approved transactions and their total amount return the result table in any order the query result format is in the following example we just have one table transactions which has five columns id country state amount and trans state let's see an example to understand better what is needed from us so this is our input table transactions id country state amount trans date and we have four records over here and this is our output which has month and country as it was also written over here we need to find for each month and country the number of transactions and so on so for each month and country we need to find out these values transaction count approved count transaction total amount and approved total amount so for 2018-12 and 2019-01 and for the respective countries us usde we need to find out transaction count so let's see 2018 12 so in this table how many records do we have for the month of december 2018 we have two records so we have two transactions which is why transaction count is two and for both the transactions we have the same country us only which is why we don't have more records in the output there's just one record which is uh, December 2018 country US transaction counts is 2 and how many of these are approved just 1 so approved count is 1 then transaction total amount would be the addition of these 2 which is 2000 plus 1000 3000 and what is the amount for the approved one so this is approved so this record has the approved state and the amount is 1000 which is why our output also has 1000 now let's see this one this is January 2019. We have two records again. But those two records have different countries, which is why we have two records over here as well, US and DE. In this case, both the records were US only, which is why we just have one record over here, which just gives an idea that we need to group our data by these two columns, month and country, and we need to just find these and what are we going to do to find these values like transaction count or transaction amount we're going to use aggregates because we need to group it and then we need to add or count accordingly so over here january 2019 us which is this record how many how many transaction counts are there? how many records are there just one which is why one how many approved transactions are there one which is why one what is trans total amount there is just one record so the total would be 2000 only and that is approved only which is why approved total amount would also be 2000 same goes for de there is just one record and that is approved so one one and the amount is 2000 so 2000 2000 so this question is actually very simple all we need to do is we need to group it by these two columns month and country and aggregated to get these values so let's begin but as you can see this column month just has the year and the month it does not have the date so we need to use a function to convert transaction date to this format let's do that select date format what is the column name trans underscore date and let's give the format percent y hyphen percent m from table transactions let's run this are we getting the right format yes 2018 12 
2019 01 2019 01 so we're getting the right format and let's give it an alias month and what else do we need we need country comma country the next thing is transaction count so count count star and we will give it an alias trans count now we need to find out the count for approved transactions which means we need to add a condition to it something like if state is equal to approved then what is the count so whenever we have to use conditions we can use case statements count you can also use sum over here but i will be using count count case when state is equal to approved then one else null i'm using null because null will not be counted and give it an alias approved count but let me show you guys how i can write the same thing using sum function if i write sum over here and and if i do not write null let's see what will happen if I write 0 over here, TST2, test3, test2 and test3. Let's run this. So if you see the output, let's ignore the first three columns right now let's see these three count case when approved then one else null then we're getting approved count the next statement is the exact same but instead of null i am using zero and we're getting wrong answer four over here why because zero will also be counted but when i write null it will not be counted so which is why the first statement is right case when state is equal to approved then one else null so it will just count the ones and ones will only come when the state is equal to approve. So all the nulls will be not counted. And then test three, which is this column, this one. I can also use a sum over here. So I will use sum case when state is equal to approve, then one else zero. So whenever the state is approved, we will have one and in the end we are just adding all the ones so zero will be discarded so we can get the correct count using this formula as well but for now i am just going to use the count statement now what else do we need we got transaction count we got approved count now we need the amount transaction total amount and approved total amount we need to add this column amount so all I'm going to do is I will use the same logic just instead of count I will be using sum function sum in trans total trans total amount and this would be approved total amount instead of star I will be writing amount because we are not counting we need the summation of the column amount so sum of amount would give me transaction total amount and here I have this is supposed to be sum so sum case when state is equal to approve then amount else zero and this is approve total amount so sum of amount would give me transaction total amount and sum case when state is equal to approved only when the state is equal to approved then we will pick up the 
column amount else zero and then i will sum it in the end so this would give me a proof total amount let's run this okay so the expected output is we need to group it by month and country so i will add a group by statement over here and we need to group it by the first column and the second column so i can either write the column names but i will be using one comma two which means group by month and two is country so group by month comma country let's run this and this has been accepted and that's the right answer let's submit this also one more thing the reason why i used capital y over here and small m uh, is because capital y will give me the entire year 2018 i'll just do it the other way around small y and capital m let's see the output of course wrong answer yeah so when i write small y it would just give me the last two digits from the year and when i write capital m it would give me the name of that month like december january instead of just numbers 12 or 01 so let's just change this back let's just change this back let's run this And this has been accepted i hope this was clear make sure to check out the entire playlist there are a lot of lead code queries over there a lot of questions that i've solved so go check it out check out our sql ebook and with that i will end this video thank you so much for watching